Uh, I, let me introduce myself. I am Dr. Muhammad Mustafa. I am the chief cardiologist at uh, Metromed International Cardiac Center, Calicut, Kerala, India. So today I would like to uh, talk to you about uh, the amazing organ that is uh, the heart. See, this uh, heart is uh, located in the human being. It is located just behind the sternal border. I mean, what is it? heart is located just behind the sternal bone, little towards the left side. And it is uh, uh, covered by a layer called pericardium. This is basically to protect the heart from the wear and tear which happens during the uh, uh, heart contraction. So, uh, an average uh, adult uh, human heart weighs between 350 grams to 400 gram and uh, as you all know that it is the, uh, it, it beats continuously that starts right from the uh, intrauterine life and till the last moment of an individual. And uh, why it is called such an am amazing organ because it beats almost 70 uh, to 100 times per minute and which is almost like 4,320 uh, 4, uh, times in, a, in, a, in an hour and uh, which beats almost 1 lakh times in 24 hours. And another interesting thing is like it pumps almost 7,500 liters of blood in every day. And another interesting thing about the heart is like we have See, you have seen the heart is contracting continuously, it is beating continuously and to have this mechanical action, we should have an electrical support. So, the electrical system of the heart is otherwise known as the conduction system of the heart and for this, there is something called a pacemaker which is called the natural pacemaker, in other ways it is called SA node which is a specialized cell in the heart which has the capacity to generate electricity automatically. And because of the electricity generated in the uh, um, in natural pacemaker, you can see that this electricity is conducted to the conduction system of the heart. So, it, it starts from here and it is conducted to the AV node and from the AV node, it is conduct, uh, conducted to the entire uh, heart muscles by I mean through these electrical uh, cables which is known as the uh, Purkinje fibers or his bundle. Uh, Purkinje fibers. So, through this, this is nothing but an electrical cable which is inside the heart and through this uh, the electrical system which is I mean electrical impulse which is generated at the pacemaker is conducted to the entire heart and that results in the cardiac contraction or the heartbeat. Now, you can just see how it is happening in this animated uh, uh, I mean uh, in this animation. So, this is how it is happening the electrical uh, uh, impulse is generated here and which is conducted to the uh, uh, other parts of the uh, heart and that results in the uh, I mean uh, muscle contraction of the heart. So, what you have seen is the natural pacemaker inside the heart. So, if anything goes wrong with this natural pacemaker, then we can have lot of problems like either the reduction in the heart rate or little bit of faster heart rate or you can have even a conduction block. Even if the uh, pacemaker generates impulse, sometimes it may not reach the other part of the heart. So, in these situations, unless we maintain the heart rate, the patient can even die of cardiac arrest. So, in such situation, the implantation of the artificial pacemaker becomes mandatory for the survival of the patients. So, this is just to show you the a picture of the first pacemaker implantation in the human history, which happened in the year 1958. So, you have seen the natural pacemaker is only few millimeter size. So, to replace that or to generate the function of that natural pacemaker, people I mean the, uh, we have to uh, develop a pacemaker of this size. So, the first pa pacemaker in the human history was almost a size of a um, almost a size of a dialysis machine. So, this patient uh, this pacemaker is connected to the heart by using a cable through the vein of the patient and the patient has to move around with the machine all the time. So, this is just showing a nurse assisting the patient to go to uh, washroom for the I mean uh, carrying the pacemaker also along with the patient. So, over a period of time you know the science is fast developing and over a period of time 
a uh, uh, lot of development happen in the field of medicine and more so in the field of cardiology and the pacemaker implantation has also become uh, uh, i mean more and more simple so till uh, recently pro probably couple of months back the pacemaker the size of the pacemaker has reduced to this size and which started inserting by a surgical method over the uh, just under the clavicular bone of a patient over the chest so this is how it is uh, a surgery is made over the under the clavicle and uh, the pacemaker is implanted here and which is connected to the heart with the help of uh, uh, a cable which is called the leads so this is how it looks like you can see that this is the pacemaker the present uh, day pacemaker and which is co uh, connected with the cable and this is the where it is uh, usually surgically implanted over the chest and connected to the heart so this is how it looks like after the surgical I mean, surgery is over you can see that it is under the it is beneath the skin but above the chest wall so it looks little protruded because of a thin chest wall and this is how it looks in an x-ray you can see that the pacemaker here and uh, the cable is connected to the heart so after this things have become very simple and uh, after the pacemaker implantation once the surgical wound heals then the patient can move around and they can do they can almost have a normal uh, life without uh, much problems so now recently a non surgical implantation of the pacemaker has been developed and this is one of the greatest uh, invention in the whole field of medical science so we had the opportunity to uh, do this procedure in our hospital at metro cardiac center at calicut and that was the first case in kerala and uh, probably the second case in the whole of south india and uh, and the another important thing about this pacemaker is this is the smallest pacemaker in the world and it is it does not need any anesthesia and uh, there is no surgery and there is no surgery scar for these patients as you can see in this picture this is only it is a very tiny one and it is almost a size of a capsule probably it is a it is a size of a vitamin capsule you can see that and you can just compare the the the, the conventional pacemaker with the the latest pacemaker and you can see that the pacemaker is almost the size of a capsule so in our hospital actually we recently implanted this uh, pacemaker in a patient without surgery and then how is it uh, uh, i mean uh, introduced to the heart so with the help of this animation you can see that actually without a surgery we can just use a pinhole to enter into the cardiovascular system of the patient as shown in this pic animation through the i mean puncture in the groin we introduce a needle and uh, uh, by using this catheter specialized devices uh, delivery devices we can reach the heart so now the sheath is introduced into the heart and the pacemaker which is uh, attached to the distal end of the delivery system uh, is uh, now almost reaching the heart now you can see that and this is delivered into the right ventricle this is called the right ventricular chamber of the heart and as you see that in the x-ray so once this is fixed to the myocardium this is the heart muscle with the help of this remote device from outside we can manipulate this uh, pacemaker inside and this is almost like fixed into the myocardium into the muscles of the heart and once it is made sure it is well fixed then the delivery system has been detached so this is how it is uh, just to show you this is how it is attached to the uh, heart muscle so even after deployment it will not get embolized so it is firmly fixed to the heart muscle so once it is done then another interesting thing is the this can be monitored from outside the chest wall the activities can be monitored i mean uh, regulated and the heart rate can be adjusted all that can be done from outside so now you can see that it is now attached inside the heart and all the delivery system remote so now uh, this this is done even without a scar uh, on the patient's chest or any any part of the body
so the previous one was an animation and this is the real picture i mean the real video of this uh, uh, procedure done at our hospital you can see that this is done usually under an x-ray fluoroscope and you can see that the cable is going to the heart this video is little longer so you can see that the sheath is introduced now into the heart it is coming into the heart see this is how it is uh, uh, fixing into the heart chamber see now this is almost we are just checking how it is uh, i mean whether it is well fixed or not and uh, once it is made sure so it is now deployed in the heart and all the delivery system we have we are just removing the delivery systems see now it is now the pacemaker is uh, completely independent and it is uh, uh, without any attachment and now it is uh, lying inside the heart and controlling the heart rhythm see now if you go through these pictures such a was i mean uh, technological development which has happened in the field of pacemaker see the initial pacemaker to start with was this size and that is reduced to this size and today we have a pacemaker of a capsule size so this was my team who were involved in this procedure it was uh, of course it is a team work we had an excellent team and we, it was uh, the uh, the procedure was headed by our electrophysiologist dr arun gobi you can see him on the extreme uh, right, i mean uh, uh, right side and the entire cath lab I mean, team who who were involved in this procedure thank you for watching this